Hi guys, I'm in the uh, little room under my house at the moment just processing some cells. Got a decent pile of 30 Samsung 30Qs here. Um, that's probably about half of what I've got at the moment. I've probably got a hundred or so cells to process. Um, I just thought I'd have a look at this 12 amp hour pack. I'm getting, I'm regularly getting 9 amp hours now. Here's one here. Um, there's about two or three of them in this lot. Uh, this is my first 12 so far, so I thought we'd have a look, little look inside, see what we have. So first of all I'll just um, show you guys that it's working on my impact driver here. There you go. It's obviously been dropped and the screws, screws are broken. We were, have, we were getting um, three bars, I think it was, on the battery indicator. There's a five. Undo these screws on the bottom. I can see what you guys are seeing. I've got a um, camera with a flip screen on it. I've been making my last couple of videos on the iPhone 8 and I find it's um, they're quite shaky and it doesn't seem that there's any stabilization on the iPhone 8 which is disappointing I'm used to using Samsung phones but uh, here we go so we're inside looks like we have uh, 21 21 700 so I'd say they are See the cells inside there, they're like a purple. I'm guessing they'll be a Samsung. Yeah, I can see the end of the writing on one of them there. NG, I'm pretty sure that will be Samsung. Let's have a look at the voltage. Can you guys, I'll skip that so you can see it. Should be able to see that there. So we've got 3 3.75, 3.75, 3.75, 3.74, and the last group 3.75. All right. So the indicators there, we've got two indicator lights. Alright. I think we might pull this apart. Put the tabs off one side. Okay. Okay. It's got some decent copper copper plate up here, and there's a good thickness on the side of it there. See that? I used to use uh, Dewalt tools myself. I've just recently changed over to Milwaukee. I've got a angle grinder, a drill, an impact driver. I think I'll get a circular saw next. Um, yeah, I like the Milwaukee tools. Um, I was just thinking earlier um, when I first started harvesting cells, there was a lot of 1.5, uh, 2 amp cells. Um, I rarely see them now. Usually 2.5 is the lowest I see. Um, a lot of uh, 30Qs, HG2s, 
HG4s, um, Sony VTC6, but yeah, I don't really see any of the 1.5 and 2 amp cells anymore, which is good. I used to get a lot of Samsung 20Rs. Um, fellow Aussie YouTuber, one up the sleeve. Hey, go, mate. We'll know what I'm talking about with the um, the cells changing. He he processes cells also. Check out his channel, one up the sleeve. If you type that into the search on YouTube, you should find his channel. Nearly got this one done. I'm I'm thinking in the future there's obviously going to be more. One thing to note, there's going to be more um, 2700s and 21700s, different form factors moving away from 18650s. Um, just looking at the at the um, spot weld pattern there, so there's a 30Q that came out of probably a um, 9 amp hour pack. It's quite a tight tight pattern on the spot weld. You can see on these it's a lot uh, broader pattern due to the cell being bigger I guess. Spreads out the the current on the on the um, on the bus bar and the cell there. Alright so we have all the bus bars removed. Let's take off the circuit board. Okay. Yeah, that's got a bit of weight to it. Have a look at that compared to. Yeah, look at the difference in those two. This is probably a, a, a um, six or nine amp hour here, and this is the twelve amp hour. And the weight difference is quite incredible. Have a look at the thickness of the copper on that, on the twelve amp hour. They've really beefed that up nicely. Alright, that is quite impressive. It's actually screwed down, there's two, two halves to that copper, it's got four screws. It goes through to that big chunk of copper on the other side there. Now let's have a look, open this up and get some cells out. There we go, we are in. Okay, we have 21700 compared to a 30Q. A lot bigger cell as you can see. I'll have to have a look at the spec sheet on these later to see what the, the specs are on them. But they all look like good cells. Uh, still holding good voltage so they'll be quite useful all right guys anyway there's a look inside the the big 12 amp hour pack bye for now